Today on Arts for Life Virtual Studio, we'll be making paper tube owls. Stay tuned and I'll tell you everything you need and walk you through step by step. Let's get creating! My name is Kara and I'm an art teacher with Arts for Life at Mission Hospital in Asheville, North Carolina. Today on our virtual studio where we believe the art is for everyone, we'll be teaching you how to make paper tube owls. Here are the materials that you'll need today to make these owls. We'll need a paper tube. You might find it in your um, toilet paper roll. But don't use up the toilet paper. Ask for one that's already empty. You might have a couple of these hanging around. All right, so start with one or two of those. Then we will also need construction paper, just a variety of colors. You could even use cardboard scraps. Um, so we'll grab a couple of those. You will need a glue stick and scissors, maybe a pencil to sketch out the shapes that we're gonna cut out. If you do have um, big hole punches in different sizes, those are great. If you don't, don't worry about it. Um, not anything you need to go buy. So, all right, let's get started. Okay, here we are with our materials for our paper owls. We've got a couple of paper tubes. You can get these from the middle of toilet paper. You could also get them from a paper towel roll. Those are a little bit longer. You would just cut it in half. So we've got a couple of those. Let's just start with one. We also need some construction paper. Any colors will do, just pick your favorite colors. And then we will need some scissors and maybe a pencil to sketch out the shapes that we wanna make and a glue stick. So what we will need to make are going to be, let's look at our owl. We need to make the owl's eyes so that's two sizes of circles. It's a one inch circle and a two and an inch and a half circle. Um, you can use a hole punch if you have it that's big, or you can just cut out a big circle and a little circle. Um, we've also used the little circles to make these feathers here. So I would say maybe 10 little circles and you just need two big circles. We also need a triangle for the nose and then maybe a U shape two of those for the wings and then we'll glue them all on so i will show you how we get started with that let's see if you want to make two of one pattern at once you can just fold your paper in half and cut it twice at two things at once so say if i want to make those u-shaped wings those are nice we could Let's see, I could draw it first, really. Let's draw where we wanna cut. It makes it a little bit easier when we do cut. So see how it's the letter U on this. Now we're gonna cut out that letter U. And because we folded the paper, we'll make both wings at one time. There we go. See, two wings, great. Now, I would show you how to cut out the eyes, but I've already got some ready. We've got some big, they're one and a half inch circles. You might want to use a ruler, but it doesn't really matter. You can also just estimate. So um, let's see, since it has pink wings, let's give it yellow eyes. Okay. And so we've got that. Now we need our small circles. The small circles are about an inch and I've got several colors to choose from. I'm gonna pick, hmm, well, we've got yellow. How does red, hmm, blue. I know you're telling me, I, I wish I could hear what you're saying. I like this blue color in there, that's kind of nice. Okay, there's some blue for the eyes. And then for the very middle, we can either cut out some really tiny little circles out of a dark color for the pupils, or you can use a permanent marker to draw the, the middle of the eyes. So I'll just use a permanent marker and draw them in. That's the easiest. 
And those are the pupils. That's what we see out of. All right. So let's glue our eyes together. What you're going to do is glue your small circle onto your big circle. Put a lot of glue. All right. Let's glue it on. All right, so we've got our eyes ready, we've got our wings ready, and let's keep our glue stick ready. These are going to be our extra feathers, and then we also have some triangles. So if you cut out a few triangles, that will be for your beak. You just really need one. Okay, so here's an example of what our owl will look like. My glue stick's running all over. Okay. Here is our paper towel, now paper, paper roll. So the first thing we're gonna do is make its head and you do that by pressing in on the top. It makes a little crease and we'll just pinch that crease like that, see? It looks, it's where the ears are for the owl. So it's gonna look like ears. Now we'll turn it over and we'll do the same thing on the back. You can use, hold it steady with one hand, use one finger from the other hand and press it in and then pinch along where it creases. So here we go. That's our owl shape. Next, we're going to put on the eyes. Now the um, paper tubes from toilet paper, it's a little hard to get things to glue to them and that's okay. I'll show you how to make sure that it sticks. What I do is I go ahead, so I'm gonna put my eyes here. So I'm gonna put a lot of glue, a whole bunch. Don't worry about wasting it. But just where we're gonna put the eyes, put it on there, set down my glue, and then I'm gonna hold the eyes on. And they don't go all the way flat. Do you see how they kind of stick up? That's okay. Now we're gonna hold them still. Hold those little eyes on. Look at this. They're staying. There it is. Okay. Now, I know that we need a beak, but the beak is going to go on top of everything. So next we're going to do our feathers. For the feathers, just grab any old color. Start on the bottom. Now, the way I'm doing it is not how you have to do it. You can have different shapes for your feathers. You can glue them on in any order, but the way I'm doing is to do the bottom middle feather first. Hold that on. Now I'll put some glue next to it on both sides. Let's pick a green here. I've also got a red. What colors are you using? These would be like imaginary owls because they've got like rainbow colors all sorts. In nature they might be more like brown and stuff but I like to use colors from our imagination while we're making art. It's really fun to be pretty creative. Now maybe I'll put like a one there and there. So maybe for me I'll do two more circles. You can put however many you want. What have we not used? We have this dark green. We'll use that. And again, hold them for a minute. If it doesn't seem like it's sticking, just wait a minute. It takes a lot of patience. But then, look, it's stuck. All right, so let's do our triangle nose. You can use your pencil or you can use a marker to make little dots on the nose if you want. Or, like this owl doesn't have any dots. So you don't have to make any, any marks on it, but you can. I'm gonna make a couple marks on mine just cause I like to show where the bird would breathe. Right there, just a couple little lines. Okay, now we're gonna put on our beak. Right on top of the feathers and between the eyes. And again, it sticks up a little bit and that's okay. 
just so it stays on the bird. It's staying. Cool. Now for the feathers, for the wings. So for the wings, I have, I have several colors of wings that I cut out beforehand. I've also got some green ones. I've also got some yellow ones. I think we have enough yellow on this owl. Does it want pink or green? Ooh, I feel like, hmm, hmm, it's a toss up. Let's do one of each. Let's do a pink wing and a green wing, cause why not? Okay, I'm going to take my marker and because I want to, I'm just gonna draw some feathers on the wings. You can also use your pencil for that if that's what you have. Now, I'm going to curl this wing a little bit. Move aside my other pieces. I'm going to curl it up, hold the edge, curl it up. And same for this one. Hold here and curl this up with my fingers. Okay, here's our owl. We'll put some glue under the eye, beside the scale, or beside the, um, the feathers. And over here beside the feathers. You're welcome to put more feathers on your owl. You could put it all on the back, wherever you'd like. Here's a little wing. And these take a minute to glue on. And here's the other wing. See, sometimes they fall off. See, if yours does that, no problem. Just a little more glue and a little more patience. All right, wing, let's stay on this time. Woo, woo, woo. It worked. All right, look at that. Well, looks like we've made a couple of owls here today. And you can also think about what other animals you could make. All right. Thank you for tuning in today to the Arts for Life virtual studio. I enjoyed creating with you. I hope you enjoyed creating with me. I finished my paper owl. Did you finish yours? Here's another example. And here's another one, a little tiny one. And I've also got a cat. So. However yours looks is great. Doesn't have to look a certain way. And if you'd like to show us what you made, you can post a comment in the, in the comments below. Post a picture. And um, remember, art is for everyone. Thank you. Bye-bye.